Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, by the three days you lay in the tomb, you made holy the graves of all who believe in you. And even though their bodies lie in the earth, did you catch his name? Whose name? The minister's. Could you remember what he said? Nothing disrespectful. I, Lawson Colby, being of sound and disposing mind and memory, and not acting under duress, menace, fraud, or undue influence of any person whatever, do make, publish, and declare this my last will and testament in the manner of following, that is to say, I bequeath to my daughter, Beth Constantine, the following. Someone who preached against the degradation money and idleness brings, your father certainly invested well. Blue chips, glamour issues, even some flyers into harness racing and sugar contracts. A nice estate even after taxes. Are we really rich now, Daddy? Well, let's just say we're a little freer, honey. Huh? <laughs> Free enough for me to have a horse? Oh, sure, in our apartment in New York. It's a Flemish landscape. Folks last? I guess we took a wrong turn. Not hard for a person to do, this side of the last whistle. Well, we're glad we did. It's beautiful here. Is this your land? Yeah. It pleases me that you like it. <gasps> How come you don't use machinery? Against the ways. Religious ways? No, just tradition. Tractors and such like wouldn't give us a chance to do it together. Seeding the ground is an act of love. Has to be done with the hands. What do you plant? Corn. We are. <laughs>
Aren't these houses marvelous? Look at them. Let's go across over here. This is it's neat here. Isn't it pretty? Look, Avril Penrose, 1811. Harper Penrose, 1709. William Penrose, 1668. Is everyone a Penrose? Fantastic, and almost 200 years old. Wouldn't it be fun to fix up a place like this? <gasps> On arriving at the lodgings of his three friends, D'Artagnan found them assembled in the same chamber. Athos was meditating. Porthos was twisting his mustache. Aramis was saying the three his Three musketeers? In a charming little book of hours bound in blue velvet. What do you say we ask? How do you, Any friend of Dumas' pair would make I a terrific neighbor. Or else, Come I on. warn you, I will not pardon you for making me come here instead of... Yes, who is it? We were wondering about the uh, house across the street. Interested in it, are you? Uh, yeah. It's not for sale. It's a wonderful old house. But the plumbing's bad. And the roof leaks. And the owner refuses to sell. Do you know where the owner is? I'm sorry, but it wouldn't do any good, believe me. Well, look, in case he changes his mind, uh, here's our number in New York. Thank you. Bye-bye. Sort of a Brigadoonish type place. You know, a place frozen in time. No fast food joints, no neon signs. Can you imagine sitting with those good, simple people? Talking. I mean, discussing things that really matter. City mice into country mice? Is that it? <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> what would Nick do? Plant corn? What would you do? Have you thought about that? Oh, they're terrific. You notice anything peculiar about them? Peculiar? Here in the graveyard? In the common where I snapped Kate with a lamb. Here in the field where they were plowing. That old woman in black with a white thing on her head. In every picture. Do you remember seeing her? No. Hello? Yep, speaking. Uh, could you, uh, hold on one second, please? It's a Maggie Dodd in Cornwall Coombe. Are we still interested in the house? Are we? I don't believe it. You? A coffee table book? Yes. Full of sketches of rural American life. You know, New England barns, uh, tools, customs, country lore, that kind of thing. With a text to explain it all. 
You know, uh, barns and cow chips don't exactly go over like sex-starved nymphettes in a little bondage. <laughs> look, David, I know... You look, I didn't say no. It's liable to end up at Knopf, and I'm back to dust jacket blurbs. I'll need a complete outline and a complete series of sketches. You got it. Thanks, friend. You know, Nick, it wouldn't hurt if you could uncover some gothic horror. A nice axe murder. A little incest, maybe. In Cornwall Coombe? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Now, remember what we promised ourselves. We don't go any higher than 42.5. We are never going to get it for that. Now, what to say, ladies? What to say? Look here what I got for you. I got egg beaters. Egg beaters. Eat them eggs, slice them, and Come on, have a look now. Look at this, baby. Good morning. It's Mr. and Mrs. Constantine, Robert. Hello. You've come about the house, have you? Would you know where the owner might be? The widow of fortune's expecting you. Thank you. That's the woman that was in those photos. It certainly is. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Grace Everdeen was either the village punch or its first woman's liver. <laughs> Why? Oh, look where she's buried. Mrs. Fortune. I'm Nicholas Constantine. This is my wife, Beth. And we were told that you... You've got the house. It's with her. You can call me that. What about the prize? 30,000 and no dickering. <sighs> <laughs> to uh, tell you the truth, Mrs. Fortune. With her. You were set on going higher. I got my price. I've been told you got a young one. Yes. The coom could use some new bloodlines. Now into the trap, the both of you. And we'll seal all this over a cup of tea. Web is English. It's a 1B. Send to London for it, Fortnum and Mason. Oh, Beth, would you help me with the cups? Oh, of course. Clem gave them to me. First year we was married. Whole set of them. Not a chip in them. What about schools? Schools? What do you want with learning? Except for a bit of reading and writing. Ain't nothing the land can't teach you. Well, can the land teach her algebra or... Uh... Shakespeare's sonnet. Well, will all that calculating and rhyme help her carry a child? Ah, it's an education you're set on. There's a high school in Saxony on the far side of the river. Hardly anyone from the Coombe ever goes there. That kind of learning scant in the village. What about a doctor? You're looking at one. Anything that ails you to a cow's colic. Of course, if you want to pay for common poultices, you can find them in Saxony, too. Aya, all a person needs is right here in the comb. And maybe then some. How you doing? Try to get some of it on the house. <laughs> Always plant chamomile next to an alien plant. Then you put in garlic to keep away the bugs. But mine, don't let it flower. You know something? She beats Dr. Tabacker. And at half the price. They were brought over from England in the 1600s by a Cornish farmer, the founder of the village. Named Penrose, no doubt. <laughs> yeah. Well, of 
of the seasons. Oh, they're lovely. Means more in the seasons. It's a way of life. There's plowing day, planting day, spring festival. Oh, and then there's Agnes Fair on Midsummer's Eve. According to legend, old Agnes blighted the crop and refused to quit until the people of Cornwall held a fair in her honor. Oh, and then there's the biggest day of all, when the corn is done and the harvest is in and folks can relax and count their blessings. Time of joy and celebration. Yeah, it's called Harvest Home. Beth, you spent your entire 50 minutes talking about Cornwall Coombe. <laughs> Did I? Uh, yeah. Died a drink. 28? Yeah. Fell off a barn. Cemetery's been here since 1640. <laughs> Seen a lot of folks. One of your ancestors, Amos? Yeah. Goodian Ben Rose died 1668. Bought engines in them days. His house, uh, post offices now, was built for defense. When Redskins finally broke in, Gwydion's long gone. Had trapped on the floor, an escape tunnel, run clear across the common, would come up the root cell of his barn. So where the church is now? Yeah. Uh, tunnel from the post office, huh? Still there. No kidding. Yep. All those years ago, it just runs right through that. Just comes right up in there. Root cell of that bomb. Gray Seventy. Why is this one on unhallowed ground? Suicide, he said. Over what? Some folks got long noses. What you doing in Soaps is lonesome. Afternoon, widow. <laughs> Got no spirit, only lines. It's the passing years you're missing. When you get old as that wood, you'll be feeling like you'll never get old. What's an art critic doing hiding out in these parts? <laughs> Next time you want to draw, stick to the comb. You're part of it now. <laughs> and Handle sees his wife. Give it a try. scared of no soakses. Not you, nor your ghost. Oh, shut up. Get on home. Yeah. Right, huh? Soakses, you've got no more right to them woods than Jack Stump nor anybody else. He will poach in my land, Widder. If you don't keep him away, I won't answer to what's gonna happen. 
Come on, boys. What was that? Tobacco scut. That moonshine's where they make the money. A dozen more of them at home. All meaner than the last. Is it really a ghost? A revenue man disappeared in the lonesome, looking for that still. Supposed to be his ghost that haunts the woods. Likely a tale the soaks is made up to scare folks off. Didn't bother the peddler enough to keep him out of there. Jack Stump's heart's in the right place. It's his tongue that's an affliction. Soakses are a bad crowd. He'll pay for it yet. Again, peddler, you won't have the use of a speeder for your goods. What happened in there this morning, Jack? <laughs> the strangest thing as I ever hoped to see. And I've seen it with these here two eyes. What did you see? A ghost. A ghost that was dead and now's come alive. A living ghost, as sure as I'm sitting here. And it was screaming. Ah, yeah.
the girls always make over the harvest lord. Is that another local custom? A very old one. It goes back to Cornwall, or even to pre-Christian times. The harvest lord is kind of a male symbol of the community. It's quite an honor, actually. But more than that, it's enormously profitable. The man chosen may be a complete failure as a farmer. But the whole village pitches in to give his fields special care. They repair his fences, build new barns, dig new wells, anything that will assure a successful seven years of his reign. Believing that as he prospers, so will they. <laughs> Colin Maid. Grace, you were calling me. Grace everything? Never a good girl in Greece. She gave her a sin, she come to grief. She was such a good girl, why'd she commit suicide? Ask your friend the widow. She knows more about how folks die around here than I do. One of the deepest significance. No women allowed. <laughs> Tell you up, Robert. Hey. Now you've been church, you doubtless will be planting corn next. You buy him? You're looking at the last of the big time spenders. Fry whiskey. Hold the water. How about you, Robert? Scotch things. Justin? Oh, I'm all right, thank you. <coughs> I'll make that for you. Oh. A jack? A cider. Uh, well, I don't know about corn, Amos, but I can think of a lot of other subjects I'd like to discuss with you. But that book you scripted. I'm only the bell ringer. Told you, you want a history lesson? Talk to the widow. Would she know as much as you do about Gracie Everdeen's grave buried in unhallowed ground and condemned to perdition? <laughs> Don't worry about it, Nick. You're just a newcomer who rattled a skeleton. Is that out of bounds? Let's just say that there are some areas of research that are better left untapped. If Sophie's looking for a new dress, got some mighty lofty goods. Jack. Uh, and there's needle and thread and pins galore if she's got a mind to do her own sewing. Aye, aye, aye. Use them yourself, Petler. Use them to zip your lip. Maybe I ought to zip. Because if I didn't, I bet I could tell her some mighty funny doings in them woods. <laughs> <laughs> what we do best. <laughs> Yeah. A 
that's our right to say. This is a warning at your peril, keep out. They left that one of me traps. But it ain't gonna keep me out of them woods, ghost or no ghost. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. Whoa, whoa. Brawling in the streets and on the Sabbath. He keeps talking about that ghost he saw. <laughs> in the lonesome. It's true, it uh, howls like a banshee. Oh, fair stands your hair on the end. Mr. Constantine's doing a chronicle on the coom. You don't want him to believe that silly tale. Your ears and mouth will get you in trouble. Someday, Jack Stump. Uh -huh. sound like Cornwell Pool. Give a person a chance, Mrs. O'Byrne. I'll get the hang of it. They don't welcome folks from this side of the river. The only one I ever did meet was the Everdeen girl. Grace Everdeen? Yeah. Stayed here all summer some years back. Poor thing. Some love affair gone wrong with a man in the village. Well, the good Lord only knows what he saw in Gracie. Ungainly thing she was. What happened to her? Just up and left. Met the young man at the bridge one night. Next day, she was gone. Not a word, nothing. Didn't even bother to collect her belongings. Often wondered what become of her. Best not keep you any longer. Looks like a Norwester. Scrambled eggs, darling? Mm, just coffee. Is there something wrong? Wrong? Well, you, uh... tossed and turned all night, and you look awful. Okay. Coming back from Saxony, I think I saw the ghost of Soak's Lonesome. How does that grab you? It was probably a scarecrow. Caught up in the wind. It was quite a storm last night. Wait to see what it did to the garden. This was no. This was no scarecrow. I'm going back out there later and nose around. Nick, I wish you would stop this Grace Everdeen thing. I've been talking to you. What does it matter? If it's such a local sore spot. I promised Dave Adwell I'd deliver a book, one that'll sell. What would you have me write about? Mrs. Zalman's quilting bee? If it's something that they don't want publicized. Exactly. Doesn't that make you just a little bit curious? What are they trying to hide? Not hide. Just lay it to rest. I can't say that I blame them. And you must know something that I don't. Only what Maggie told me. It seems that while she was corn maiden and uh, engaged to Lauren McCutcheon, Gracie Everdeen went bananas. She uh, shamed and scandalized the whole community, and then she vanished. 
The next thing you know, she's killed herself. I mean, is it any wonder that everyone would want to just forget the entire episode? Gracie went against the ways. Hmm. What do you suppose drove her to do something like that? I told you she just flipped out. Uh, I won't wash, Beth. That girl loved Lauren McCutcheon. And I've got it on good authority that she never stopped loving him. Killed him and left him here to rot. It was here. Believe me, a man's skull. It was enormous. You don't think I'd make up something like that? You're working on a book, I'm told. What's that got to do with anything? Well, maybe you want to see things that ain't there. Writers have that kind of imagination, I'm told. Well, how does this grab you for a writer's wild imagination? The Soaks has tracked me here, saw me find the skull, and then moved it. Eh, fanciful enough. OK. OK, let's forget about the skull. Let's just concentrate on a simple charge of assault. That crazy moonshiner fired a shotgun at me. Or is that just considered another quaint custom around here? Ain't nothing quaint about trespassing, mister. Now, the lonesome's big, and we ain't too clear about boundary lines. You could have been poaching on Soaks' property. Serious offense, trespassing. What I hear you telling me, Constable, is that this is something for the state police or the prosecutor over in Saxony, hmm? Well, you do what you gotta do, mister. But before you go stirring up another fish fry, you better know this. And that revenue man disappeared. 
police swarm down on the comb thicker than flies. County, state, treasury, even the FBI. Except for trampling down a lot of corn. They come up empty. Same as you. It's a long walk back. I can use it. Voices travel in this hollow. As I'm standing here, widow, I saw a skeleton in that trunk. Lucky the bones of the revenue. God rest his soul. I'll warrant the soaks has moved him. Constable's getting old. No two ways about it. But aren't we all? to the door. Brings good luck. Sophie! Look who's here. Come on in. <laughs> Your husband has a wonderful sense of humor. <laughs> I brought you something. Nobody ever did the likeness of me before. Thank you. It is Sophie to the life. I'm going to go hang it in the bedroom right now, if it pleases you. Oh, yes. Mr. Constantine, may I ask you something? Sure. I have some make money put aside, and I was wondering what it would cost to do a painting. I would love to do a painting of you, Sophie. Not me, Justin. Well, I'll get started on it as soon as I get my manuscript off to my publisher. And you'll have it done in time for harvest, Owen. If it means that much to you. Oh, yes. Thank you. Patented in 17 and 60 and about the most recent machine purchase for the farm. In this land here. It's all been farmed by hooks for almost 300 years. Not owned, mind you. No, farm. Can't own the land. That's the city man's thinking. Yeah. Carnwall Coombe will have a bountiful harvest this year. But it wasn't always that way. Eight years ago, we had a waste. A waste? Yeah, when you've seen one of them, you never forget it. It's a drought that leaves every stalk and leaf withered, and the earth as dry as dust. And if corn won't grow, nothing will. She that brought the drought made us suffer. She? Justin, are we talking about Grace Everdeen? Yeah, she be the one. How? How could she be responsible for the blight? 
just because she went against the ways? She was corn maiden. Lauren McCutcheon was harvest lord like me. It was her sacred duty to cleave to him, not curse the crops and run away. She was an unholy disaster, that one. She was emotionally unbalanced. Maybe she wasn't responsible for her actions. Gracie? Who told you that? She weren't no more touched than you nor me. She was evil. That's all. She had the devil in her. Why else would she... Would she what? I got chores. When the widow brought this, it was uh, covered with cobwebs and beeswax. Mm. The widow's mead, hmm? Must be a century old. She said something about a new experience. Well, here's the old elixirs and new experiences. Bad little home brew. I am amused by its impertinence. <sighs> well, what do you suppose Robert's reading these days? Well, I think it's a tale of two cities. I keep hearing the words carton and guillotine.
can't. Sophie. I can't. No, don't ask me to go through but with why, it. Why, Sophie? Don't ask me to if I could say, don't you think I would? We're sworn, all the women are from birth. And I, as a man, I too am sworn to respect the ways. But you're not just a man, you're the harvest lord. And lucky to be chosen. We'll speak no more of this, Sophie. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> when we're finished, I got a little special cider put by for a hard-working artist. We'll drink to the best model in Cornwall Coombe. The biggest, anyways. <laughs> I was down at Lost Whistle Bridge this morning. Catch any fish? Uh-uh. Just an idea. I don't think Grace Everdeen killed herself. At least not by jumping off that bridge. What makes you say that? Ten-year-old child couldn't drown in that river. Could she swim? River's high this year. Meaning? It was low that year. Riverbed's all full of rocks. You hit your head on one of those. I guess so. Yeah. Jack? Jack? Ah, uh, playing games, huh? Come on, come on. I know you saw me from the window. When'd you get back? How come you haven't come to see me? Okay, you old phony, this is it. Show and tell. his mouth with their canvas needles and twine. Women been nursing him ever since. When did this happen? Night of the bad storm. I saw him. I saw him that night. Why aren't they in jail? Can't get at him. What do you mean, can't? They're guilty, aren't they? Who'd talk to the police, Jack? Well, he could write down what happened. He could... But he'll be all right with care. Won't you, Jack? Sure oh. you will. Many a man suffered more and come out just fine. What'll Jack do now? Pretty hard for him to go back to peddling. Well, we'll take good care of him. I love you. 
It was the night she gave us a mead, wasn't it? Huh? Not me. Elixir. Oh. The eternal return. Our baby. Will be born in the spring. <laughs> sewing machine. Thought I'd die without having one. Ah, oh, Nick, thank you. Well, I wanted to do something. You've been so good to us, to everyone. Things better to home, hmm? You know very well the CIA that operates in this town. T. That night, with the elixir, you did arrange that, didn't you? Arrange what? The dancers in the field. Was it Justin and Sophie? Or Tamar? Don't know what you're talking about. Okay, okay. It was the harvest lord and the corn maiden. The woman in the veil. The woman, is she the mother? That's a puzzle for you to put your mind to, Nick. When you figure it out, you'll know the most of it. And Grace Everdeen? No puzzle to Gracie. Maybe not a puzzle, but something. People keeping a secret. There are some secrets you learn to leave be, Nick Constantine. Like what? What? No man knows? No. Woman tells. Another puzzle? I think I've got it. Have you? Mm-hmm. You women, it's, um, you have some kind of, I don't know, a, a, a club, a society, something. And, and the, the, the sewing circles, they're really meetings. And, and, and the mother, she must be like the, the president of the club. Huh? Who is the mother, Widow? You? Nope. Does Beth belong? Object to that? I guess... I'm not sure. We've always tried to share things. No woman shares everything, Nick. time I ever had in my whole life. I mean the best!
Hey, Will. Have a drink? Oh, I shouldn't, but I will. Go ahead. Circle to the left, go round the square. Circle left on a heel and toe. Reverse back the other way round. Circle to the left, go round the town. Get home and when you're there, get couples chain across. Turn the girls and don't get lost. Chain the ladies back again. Turn the girl and then you're gonna join hands. Circle to the left. Circle left, go Respect round the go. Circle to the Lord. left on heel and toe. Circle to the left till you get back home and then head two couples right on that fruit. Turn the girl and right and left through the other way back and turn the girl and join hands. Circle to the left, circle to the left, go round you go and reverse. Circle to the right, circle to the right, go round the ring and a rooster's crow and a bird is sing. Circle to the left, go round you go. Circle left on a heel and toe and out on the left with the old left hand. Part to right with the right and left hand. Bang the right and left. people of yours, huh? Nick, I said leave her be. Would you like something to eat? Kate, honey, 
about last night. Uh... It's okay, Daddy. Mom, I will tell Maggie we'll be ready in a few minutes. Great. You going somewhere? Saxony. Do some shopping. Maggie's going with me. I'm, I'm going to take uh, Justin's portrait over there a little later. It's, uh, just need a last touches on it. Good. Okay, I was drunk. I was hammered out of my skull. It won't happen again. What's there to say? Something, anything. All right. You live it down. It'll take some time, maybe not that much. People here can be very understanding. Understood. Well, wait, hey, 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 wait a minute here. Well, what I did may have been wrong, but... Uh... <laughs> as long as you take them the way they are. Accept the village. Accept the customs. I have been trying to. The way they are. No more interfering and no more prying. Okay? Yes. Thank you for finishing it in time. I'll get Justin. Come over and have a look at it now. You're not bad. Not bad at all. This morning. What went on last night? What all your fault? Boys made it up among them. They set out to see you really hung one on. Well, I really did. Guess they're still pretty sore at me, huh? Won't last, though. They don't really care for themselves. What they may have trouble getting over is how you thumbed your nose at the ways. The ways. I don't think I'll ever understand the ways. I don't think I want to. You'll learn. Not hard. Simple, mostly. Food comes from the Earth. The Earth has to be reverenced. The mother? Didn't you figure it out yet? What went on the night that you uh, drank the widow's mead? You know more about that than I do. You must have put it together by now. Who the woman was? Sure I have, Sophie. It wasn't Sophie. Come on. She wasn't the woman, Nick. Why should I believe you? Because I'm telling you the truth. You didn't before. Before? Grace Everdeen. You said that the river was low that year, and she was killed on the rocks. She was. Amos told me there was a flood then. All his sheep drowned. 
Amos is old. Gets befuddled. Best we get back to that now. No more interfering and no more prying. Okay? Befuddled? Who says I'm befuddled? Amos! Shh. You're in church, lower your voice. Maybe you got the years mixed up. Never. I was told that there was drought the year she died. Think I'd make a mistake about something like that? I'd tell you Gracie were drowned. It were after the drought. Anybody could be wrong about something like that. Ain't anybody, that. neither was she. You, you. All right. Come on. find out, don't you? That's her. That's Grace. What, what about the grave? Told me to dig a hole, did what they told me. Water filled it fast as a dug. Uh, I couldn't leave her there in the cold and dark and damp. Bad enough she drowned at once, I weren't gonna let her drown again. Not my Gracie. She never did nothing wrong. So pretty she was. Pretty and tiny, delicate, light so fairy, the way she moved, the way she moved. Hey, miss. She never knew how much, she, uh, how much she missed. Small? Grace was small, Amos? Delicate as a flower. Not big, ungainly. Gracie, look at the coffin. I'm sorry, Amos. I have to do this. No, you can't. You, you can't. No. 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 What kind of pretty little girl would wear a thing like that? Grace's? You don't reckon it's mine, do you? No, no, I don't. Uh, her other clothes? Not satisfied yet. 
still think there was a wee wraith of a girl wearing size 11 shoes. If I could. You could. If you're satisfied, Mr. Constantine, I can offer you a glass of iced tea. Uh, I never noticed that when I packed Grace's things. Now what? I know. There was a box in her room and I... I heard she was engaged to be married before she turned up here. Put a dress that size? What? I always thought she was pregnant to that boy from the coom, the one she was engaged to. Not that I'd ever say anything, mind you. But I was sure that's why she was going to the doctor so much. What doctor? Saxony's not New York, Mr. Constantine. There's only one. You sure you don't mind? It's been a busy day. Well, I'm glad I could get to see it all, Doctor. Truth is, I'm glad you came in. I tried to call your wife a few times. Wanted to give her the results of a pregnancy test. But of course, by now she knows, doesn't she? Knows what? That she's not pregnant. Not pregnant? Negative. The rabbit's still alive. She looks pregnant. Well. Likely, it's just that she wanted a baby so much, she's acting out the symptoms. Hysterical pregnancies are fairly common with women her age and background. Doctor, I'd like to find out if she can get pregnant. Well, why wouldn't she be able to? Well, I had the mumps a few years ago. Now you've got me wondering. Simplest thing in the world. Yeah, I hope he does. I don't know, Mr. Constantine. It's, um, it's not exactly ethical. Grace Everdeen is dead, Doctor. And I promise I won't use your name. Now, this talk, she became mentally unbalanced. That's understandable. You see... Excuse me. Yes? All right, Hazel. Your test results are ready. My nurse is going to slip next door and pick them up. Thank you. Grace? She had acromegaly. Acro what? Megaly. A pituitary disorder. Hereditary and particularly prevalent among Swedes. Grace's mother was Swedish. It can be treated if you catch it in time. Grace came to me for two months, and she went away. By the time she came back, it was too late. The disease is out of control, poor girl. What do you mean, out of control? Well, you see, acromegaly victims develop amazing strength. They display unbalanced behavior, aggressions, delusions, depression. In extreme cases, and Grace was one of them, giantism. Does that mean what it sounds like? She grew from five feet to nearly seven. Her hands, her feet, enormous. But most of all... I kept these.
Jack. 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 Jack, there's something I have to tell you. I saw the ghost of Soak's Lonesome, too. The one you saw, the skull in the tree. No, 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 easy, easy, easy. Take it easy, Jack. There's more to tell you, and then I want you to tell me. You can. You have to. The ghost, Jack. It's Grace Everdeen. She didn't commit suicide. The Soakses must have killed her, bashed her head in. But why, Jack? Why? What? This. Send to London for it. Wasn't the Soxes? The widow? <laughs> and the, the women who were nursing you? They use scissors on you? Widow Shears. Was it she lost them? Four <laughs> board? I'll get it. State police. Now, I'll, I'll tell them the story. Will you confirm it? All right, good. I'll, I'll uh, okay, right, right. Uh, okay, now, I, first I've got to get my wife and daughter out of here. I'll pick you up on the way out of town, and then we'll make sure they get what they deserve, all of them. It's time! This is where I belong. This is my home. This is where my baby is going to be born. Beth, listen to me. I don't want to listen to you. You've got to. A baby. It won't be born. What? Ever. But I, no, I'm No, you're not. Crazy. You can't be. I am sterile. I have been ever since I had the mumps. I just found out this afternoon. It's because you want me oh. so much. I'm sorry. Oh. Leave her be, Nick Constantine. Leave her be. Go to hell! You'll bear a child in the spring, Beth. It is prophesied. Come here. Let me tell you about your beloved Mary Fortune. About what she did to Jack Stump. She cut his tongue out with these. And there's more, much, much more, that, that, that a club, that society that you think so much of. They murdered Grace Everdeen on Harvest Home seven years ago. You're a 
fool, Nick Constantine. I pity you. Come on, Beth. We'll go now. Wait! Understand this. From this time forth, the man you see here is an outcast. We'll turn our backs on him and shun him. He is forbidden to all. He is Bane. Nearly time, Sophie. up. Sorry, they wouldn't let me in any earlier. What time is it? A little before 11. Lamb chops, potatoes, and peas. I hope you don't mind your Maggie, I gotta get out of here. Well, of course you do. It's ridiculous having you locked up like this. Constable Zalman is not particularly receptive right now. I'll talk to him first thing tomorrow. I can't wait until tomorrow. I've got to get to Beth and Kate tonight. Now help me, Maggie. Nick, you don't understand this town the way I do. You've got to be patient. First thing tomorrow. Tonight, Maggie, I've got to get out of here tonight. Why? Because it's Harvest Home. What has Harvest Home to do with it? I'm not sure. I do know it has something to do with some of the women and, and, and a clearing in the woods and whatever it is, I've got to get Beth and Kate out of here. Now, you've got to get out of here too, Maggie. You ought to take Robert and just get out. You're a fool, Nick Constantine. A stupid, meddling fool. Did you forget? I was born here. Of course the women go to Soak's Lonesome tonight, only not some of them. All. And that's why you're staying here. Tonight is not for you or any other man. The Soakses keep them away from the woods. But Beth and Kate will be there. Oh, that's where you're wrong, Maggie. I saw them dragging Beth away. She was fighting. Really? Why don't you just have your dinner and let... Three times three? A woman. Oh, <laughs> 
she dead? It's Sophie Hook. She's cut her wrist. She's killed herself. What'd she do it tonight? Seamus shouldn't have run. She don't deserve it. She'll be a blight on the She'll crowd. She'll be a blight. A blight on the crowd. Do nice. you remember Gracie Everdeen? That was a blight. The blights were fair. There'll be no blight. Yes. Not if we do what we must now. Take her away. No! No! Please don't. No! How could she do it? Sophie! <laughs> Sophie! Now, Justin, we'll take care of her. Good <laughs> care. <laughs> We must have a new con maker. I'd like to be. Tell us, widow, who'll be corn maiden? I will. No, that's not right. Tamar's been corn maiden. I could be. I want to be. Or me. What about me, widow? Just a minute. We should vote. We'll vote in the church. tell you. I can't. Tonight's the harvest hole. No man's allowed to be out after midnight's near that now. Please, I have to know what happened to Gracie. Where is she? Amos, help me! Tunnel run clear across common, but come up in the root cell of his barn. That church is now.
beautiful eyes. It was a long way for him. I began to think I would do it today. It was a long way for him, I said, for he had nothing to uphold him on the journey. Wasn't he fed, poor thing? Asked Dora. I began to think I would put it off to tomorrow. Uh, yes, yes, I said. He was... I mean, he had not the unutterable happiness that I was still being... No! be done on the spot. You didn't care for that happiness in the least, said Dora, slightly raising her eyebrows and shaking her head. When you were sitting by Miss Kit... Who's there? Kit, Who is it? I should observe. Hey, Nick. Nick, I'm glad you came over. Well, sit, sit down, uh, pour yourself a drink. Where are the keys to your car? What? I need a car, mine's not here. Nick, I wish you'd sit down. Where are the keys? All the cars are parked behind the commons, locked. They're all that way. Always on Harvest Home. Nick, take my advice. Go home. Stay out of sight. I have to get the police. Are you crazy, Nick? You don't understand. There are so many things you don't understand. Why do you think they let you come here? They need you. They need new blood. Children. Go home. Stay there. They've got Beth. Listen to me, Nick. All the roads are blocked. The soaks are paid to patrol the forest to keep you out. You don't have a chance of getting... I have to try. You're a fool, Nick. Do you want to end up like me? Oh, my God. Seven years ago, I had to find out, too. I had to try to learn what no man may know, no woman tell. And Nick, no man has known. Not since the dawn of time. What did you see? I sit here, pampered, my food cow, cared for like a baby, and I'm afraid, afraid to speak out. I'm afraid. I shouldn't even be talking to you now. They could kill me. Robert, what do they do? I don't know. They caught me before I found out. Nick!
crops. Our God, whose Godhead is the corn. The corn! The corn! The Spirit has been in our Lord, lo, these seven years. The corn is flesh of his flesh, the blood and the sinner. We thank him. We thank him. We thank him. Hear me, for as we glory in our Lord, as we sing his praises, let us speak with the tongue of the goddess who dwells in the earth. Our mother sustains us. Our mother sustains us. We esteem our Lord. He of all men shall know the secret of the mother. He shall know the secret of the mother. He shall know the power. He shall know. OK, boys, spread out. Now you boys go that way. Roy, over there. I'll try it over here. OK, Paul, be careful.
Jacob. Maybe you better have, dear. Thanks. Isn't it a lovely day for a picnic? It certainly is, Mrs. Constantine. Well, if it isn't the Harvest Lord. Picnic basket ready to take out? Almost. Not quite. Morning, Squirt. Morning. Want to see the shirt I sewed for you? Isn't it for my birthday? Hey, yeah. Uh... I can wait. I can't. <laughs> Morning, Widow. Morning, Kate. Good morning. Mom. Jimmy, would you go over and ask Maggie if she's almost ready? Sure thing. Thanks. Kate sure is filling out. She'll make a lovely corn maiden. And speaking of filling out, Missy says that it will be a boy and that his name should begin with J. I thought maybe Joshua. Hey, yeah, I like that. Well, you're all set. Almost. Uh, I won't be a minute. No hurry. <laughs> oh, Nick, dear, you haven't eaten your breakfast again. Well, you know best how hungry you are. Darling, I do wish you'd come with us. It's such a lovely day. Robert's coming. Well, another time. I won't be long, darling. And tonight I will make some liver for you for dinner, just the way you like it. Oh, what am I thinking of? I almost forgot. Traddles, said I, I'm delighted to see you at last. And very sorry I've not been at home before. But I've been so much engaged. Yes, yes, I know, said Traddles, of course. Yours lives in London, I think. What did you say? She, uh, excuse me, uh, Miss D, you know, said Traddles, coloring in his great delicacy. Mm -hmm. 